All right, y'all, welcome back. Welcome back to the best of three. Man, I had to switch to my phone, y'all, when I was doing y'all's read. I don't know what's going on with my laptop, all right? But we're going to tap right into this energy, Sagittarius. Um, immediately when I was channeling messages for y'all, um, I was being guided to tell you guys to watch the Aquarius read, all right? I don't know how that's going to resonate in this um, read, like, at all. But some of you guys may need to watch the Aquarius read, okay? You can be seeing 333 a lot. Um, or just the number three. Also, you can have radiator heat for confirmation that this is your, your read or order version of heat. I'm also getting here um, your crystals. If you have crystals, your crystals need heat, okay? They need activated, all right? I was also getting an energy about um, the alchemizer. Now, I was picking up a, um, a energy where and we'll clarify with the cards. There's like a witch energy alchemizer. And there's an energy where you could be an alchemizer, okay? But you are, it's like you operate, like I alchemize a lot of energy, right? So it's like I'm, I'm, I am a light worker, but a part of that is, you know, being able to alchemize, being able to go into, you know, the dark and bring the light, you know, shine the light, enlightenment, all right? And be able to transmute that energy to to come back out, if that makes sense, right? So you could be doing this. You could be um, a master alchemist or mastering alchemy, okay? Um, you could be doing candle work, okay? Something about a torch could be very significant, all right? Or you're connecting with fire in some way, or you have fire in your chart. You're very, very powerful. Because I was getting, you know, you are the temperance card, so that's just, you know, you guys, that is a part of your, your gifts, your power is, is being able to, you know, alchemize that energy. Um, but it's like you're you're mastering this. You're also mastering how to balance yourself, balance your emotions. Like you're extremely powerful, especially if people are projecting towards you. Like I said, this witch energy in the beginning. Um, now I'm getting energy harvesting between energy harvesting, energy harvesting and alchemizing. There's somebody who's trying to do this either in your energy or projecting towards you. But it's like, okay, what am I trying to say? A false alchemist or versus a authentic pure alchemist you know what i'm saying all right so it's like you're alchemizing this person's energy too and it's also being returned back to sender but it's like whatever they was doing however they alchemize however they you know work their magic it's artificial or they they use different things to do this you don't have to do none of that you don't do none of that it's purely installed in you 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 are the magic okay so it's like it's kind of silly like there's there's no <laughs> They can't come against you, Sad. They can't come against you, Sad. Like, what is it? It don't make sense. Okay. But um, they're going to try anyways. All right. Again, we have here, you could be dealing with another Sagittarius or an Aquarius. Maybe that's why you're being guided to watch that read. All right. Or you are a cross watcher and you are an Aquarius watching or you have that in your chart. Okay. You could also be a teacher. You could be an astrologer. You could be a professor. I'm hearing a deacon. Um, you could be a librarian, a martial arts fighter, guru. You could work in the law. Yeah, you can work in the law or work in the courts, okay? I'm also getting here, you have historical knowledge. A part of your gifts, it's like you have historical knowledge, but not only that, it's like you have the ability to um, tap into presidential secrets as well. Um, classified information is, is the type of downloads that you get as well, all right? You have a strong remembrance. It's like you're just extremely powerful. Your abilities are being heightened, and a part of your abilities is, is the ability to be able to tap in to knowledge that other people may not be able to tap into or people feel like, oh, they shouldn't be able to tap into that, all right? That's dark, okay? But the thing is, it's these dark people who are saying you shouldn't be able to tap into that because low-key, they ain't trying to be exposed. But again, what do I always say? It's not you exposing them. The divine is, okay? You're being used as, you know, to expose them in whatever shape, way, form that you're doing this, okay? Um, you also have ancestral and cosmic knowledge, okay? So you're just overall extremely powerful, Okay, um, but okay, back up to this energy. There's some type of hocus pocus energy. Maybe you watched that um, recently, or I'm getting Halloween Town. Somebody watched Halloween Town recently, or you love that movie, or watch Halloween Town. I haven't watched Halloween Town in a very long time. And isn't there like three of them or something? I said three, you know, I said you guys could see the number three, 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 three. So maybe you watch all of them. I don't know, maybe you watch all of them, or I don't know, something about Halloween Town, okay? Um, but there's like a hocus pocus mysterious 
energy here, all right? And I feel like it has to do with this person who's wanting revenge. All right, I wrote down wanting revenge, but instead it'll backfire and you may witness this. But now I'm getting here because I channeled this message um, like last week. I'm getting here. This person can be wanting revenge and then they may back up. All right. Because it's like, they may back up like, man, they might come to their senses. The spirit might humble them. Like, you really think that's a good decision? Okay, because it ain't. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so we're going to tap right into this this, um, this uh, mysterious energy here. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo as well or have Leo in your chart. You know, I got my you know cards. All right, yeah, you have God's child here. And something's going on um, God's speed, all right, divine timing, okay? But then you also have here Thames, crazy things are happening, okay? So you could be, um, you could have heard that song recently, Thames, crazy things are happening, and there's your three here. What is this, uh, a nine, nine, 10, 11, 12, three, that's uh, still three, all right? So you guys, I feel like something's very significant about the number three, about groups, a party, celebration, friends. All right, maybe there's crazy things happening within a group, a friendship, all right? But it's like you're protected. Yeah, okay, this could also be about a relationship, a connection here where there's mutual feelings shared, okay? And then I'm getting an illusion, so... illusion not real so these people were trying to put illusions over you or this is currently what they're trying to do all right so definitely follow your intuition because you have here tons of crazy things are happening and i feel like with three here um you have three three here again so you could be 33 you could be 29 39 32 okay but i definitely feel like here um with the threes some type of toxic energy trying to fool you trying to put an illusion trying to get you not to see something or put an illusion over you now i do feel like this is in the 3d they also could be trying to mess with your remembrance okay also something about palo santo if you're using palo santo it's working or use palo santo um but yeah something's going on in 3d i don't feel like this is in the spiritual realm that's why i feel like in the beginning, we said you may witness this, okay? So whatever crazy thing is happening, you're, you're, you are the divine child. You are protected. I'm also seeing the word hide here, but the word, it's not really here, okay? So intuitively, um, somebody could be hiding. Yeah, this is somebody who's very selfish, okay? What is this spirit? Somebody's trying to fool somebody. You may need to meditate and tap more into the 5D, um, to awaken to whatever this is with the seven here are you already awakened or awakening to whatever is going on here with these selfish people yeah you're very you're, you're very spiritually gifted we already said that in the beginning some of you guys um the word i was seeing in the beginning while wow, was hide here hidden something being hidden this could be um somebody trying to hide your spiritual gift or this could be you hiding Somebody's trying to make you feel like your gifts are an illusion, like they're not real. Like somebody's trying to make you think you crazy. You ain't crazy. Or this could be somebody trying to make you think that you're you're selfish. Nah, baby. You just have you you're guided. What's that name by coffee? Um, I'm guided and gifted. That's just some type of way because you got it and gifted. What? Yeah, and you grateful. God is gifted and grateful. All right, they better humble themselves when they come to you. All right, they better know who they're coming to. All right, when they enter your energy is what I'm getting here. All right, this could definitely be somebody that you divorced from or that you're getting a divorce with or that you're separating from. It doesn't have to be a romantic lover. This could be family that you separated from, isolated yourself from. This could be friends, like we said in the beginning, a group of people that you isolated yourself from or you're currently doing this because they... They're jealous of your gifts, your abilities, and they're doing some weird shit in the dark. All right, these people come around wanting a second chance. Pisces energy here, or you could have Pisces in your chart. So that's also confirming the moon here with the illusions. All right, if somebody, if you're concerned about your health as well, if somebody's trying to make you think that um your health is bad, or or maybe there was some type some type of thing going on with your health. 
your health is good here. Your health is going to be improving, especially as I was um, touching my plants here. Maybe um, plant foods, medicines, organic medicines, something like that, or work with plants. You could be an herbalist. Okay, but I'm going to put some of these, um, what are we at, 10 minutes? All right, um, but I do see here, your life is about to upgrade. What's my AMF? I'm welcome. I welcome my, what should I say? I welcome healthy um, relationships, y'all, is what came on my I am app, all right? But your life is about to upgrade and look right behind it. Chosen one. You were chosen. That's why you're gifted and got it. <laughs> I love that song, y'all. But um, I'll be blasting it in here. Like, <laughs> All right. But yeah, you were chosen for this path. Some of y'all, maybe you, you, you feel like you need to hide your gifts because of what these people are doing, saying it's all projection. Speak up. It is, it is, you are being called to speak up. You have been called. You have been, you, you're, you're clearly answering the calls that I feel like some of you guys are doing, but these people are trying to seep into your mental, make you think that you're something you're not. You already know who you are. You already know who you are. You know what you're capable of. These people know too. They're, they're no match for you. You need to know that too. They're no match for you. You are too powerful. The, 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 you, the, the energy you are connected to and have always been connected to since birth, because what I'm getting here, these people have been trying to come against you since birth. They already knew who you were before you knew who you were. But they know just how powerful spirit ain't dumb. <laughs> some of y'all getting some of y'all gonna be coming out with an attitude with these people the way I look like. Yeah, you may know some of my power, but you ain't seen nothing yet. Spirit ain't gonna reveal me to you. You think you know me? You don't know me. You know the version that you that you, you know, you know, you only know how you think of me, all right? Or some of you guys, it's like, there's layers to you. They only see in one layer. There's like 50,000 billion more, okay? 12, 12 as I say that, all right? But I'm looking at my butterflies in the background, and I feel like some of you guys are going through a huge transformation when it comes to your gift. I feel like you've already came out of the chrysalis, all right? You've already entered your, your, your rebirth, and I feel like now you're transforming the way that you see yourself, see certain situations, the way that you see your gifts, the way that you see spirituality, the way that you see the divine, the way that you see everything is going to be transformed. And that's why your life is upgrading. This, this, this upgrade is a transformation. And some of you guys, if you are resisting it, it's going to feel so much harder. And I can relate so much. I feel like when you, when you come into these spiritual gifts, people are like, Oh, they're so lucky but they don't understand everything that you endured before you got to this point they don't understand you had to do shadow work you had to sit in the dark you had to face yourself they don't understand but the thing is it's not meant for them to understand it's meant for you to understand see and reflect on not dwell all right because you're going places you're going places look up angel number 13 13 and see what that connection is for you and the thing is they know they can't come where you're going what? Yes, spirit. Out with the old and in with the new. Out with the old and in with the new. It's like those old energies, old people's behaviors, even the old way you looked at yourself, even the old skin that you were in. Don't it feel like it's getting too tight? Ain't it kind of suffocating? Right? So spirit, that's why spirit brought you to that rebirth in the first place. So that you can, you can walk into this new cycle. Heaven is showing you a sign that it's time to move in a new direction. Often it's because you're not happy and feel a lack of purpose in life. This is a wake up call to make changes that match your heart's desires and spiritual truth. And some of you guys, you want to walk into this new beginning, you know, as a spiritual being using your abilities. And it's like that, that old cycle you were in, you weren't happy there. Those old people you were with, were, were you really happy there? This 16 turns into a 7. You are going through not only a, a transformation and awakening. There's so many things that you are going through being activated within at one time. But it's to push you towards this new direction. It's to wake you up. It's to help you answer the call. To step into your spiritual truth. You are an angel of truth. And anybody who got a problem with it, they need not take it up with you. They need to take it up with the with with the person who create with 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 the with the universe who created you. All right, that's what I'm getting. All right, 
some of you guys you definitely um have a new relationship coming in like i said in the beginning it may not be you know with who you i'm getting may have expected it to be with but i do see a new person coming in yeah something new and exciting related to creativity or your career comes to your attention you feel an eagerness to learn you're learning a lot i feel like you're learning a lot of these lessons whether they're karmic lessons or not um and you're ready to get going it's like y'all are ready to go and at this point yeah there's people in your energy trying to project but it's like you've already overpowered them spirit already placed the power within you to overpower anything anyone that tries to come against the gift that the divine placed within you so at some point that has to be accountability for are you blocking yourself all right it's like you're ready to get going although you may feel insecure and i feel like it's not insecure like in, in a it's like you are very confident but maybe this is new maybe spirituality is new to you maybe your abilities are coming in at a fast rate and it's all new for you spirit saying do it anyways it literally says do it anyways this card represents someone in your life this could be you or somebody else who's very creative enthusiastic and, and fascinated by life and who wants to try everything so maybe there's multiple things that you you want to do spirit saying get started get started because i'm trying to tell you baby it's gonna be exciting your life you're about to fly high to where they can't even look at you and that's really why that's really why they want it ass but it, it, it it's 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 pointless y'all the level of protection that you've been sent to this earth with it's pointless that's what i have for y'all all right like comment subscribe if you if you um if you resonate and if you do not resonate then baby stay tuned for your next read peace